I start with relatively not that thick of a section. It's pretty thin. And I'll start it as if I'm starting a regular braid. As soon as I pass my right side under the middle and the left side under the middle, like that, like I'm starting a real braid, I'll start to add the hair in. And the way I add the hair in is I add it straight to the middle piece. And I'll start my braid. I'll start feeding the hair in. And you wanna at least try to feed the hair in every like two routines of adding the hair in. And you wanna make sure that you're holding the hair really, really tight. And depending on whether or not your client wants them to be really, really full and thick, you won't have to add a lot of hair in. And you can really space out when you add the hair in. And you want to make sure when you add the hair in that you're grabbing the whole section and not leaving any out. And so as you can see now, like the braids already getting bigger because of how many sections I'm adding and how quickly I want them. Y'all can come over. You might want to come over here. Let's see. If you can't see. Look at my face. And if you braid the hair really tight, you notice how if I wasn't gripping tight enough, the braid is starting to slip off of her scalp. And the tighter you grip, it's the closer the braid will become to the scalp. That's why I said you really want to grip tight. Basically what a feed-in braid is, it's like camouflaging the weave instead of starting a regular cornrow and having like a big knot at the beginning of your braid, which I think is really ratchet and tacky. Like I honestly hate that. And when you do a braid like this, you don't want to pull away from the hair to start finishing the braid. You really want to like stay close to the scalp all the way down the nape so it can lay really, really flat because if you don't, you'll have like a ripple in your braid and it'll stick up. And once you get like halfway down the nape, then that's when you can pull away. Just finish the braid. <clears throat> Make sure you pull. You have a lot of tension when braiding because if not, it'll be loose and puffy. And you'll have a lot of stray hairs. Very cool. I'm so like mad that you're making <laughs> you know, professional, most professionals can't even do that. Well, we're going to so try. We're going to be real professional. <laughs> That's right. Be prepared. Because I don't got time for this.